Einstein. Oh, did you just poo? So I'm gonna sow some cornflowers today. These are the cornflowers I'm gonna sow. They are polka dot mixed. How amazing that something so ugly can turn into something so beautiful. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are the allotment diaries. Um, I vlog all about my lovely allotment plot here in South London. I've got two now. Um, so if you fancy following my journey along and uh, joining me as I try to grow my own food and flowers this year, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It was supposed to be sunny today, sunny they said. Sunny and warm and it's actually quite foggy and sort of grey and overcast so I had a plan in mind but I've changed my mind this morning because I was like I don't want to do that today. The job I was going to do was plant out my potatoes, my early potatoes. I was going to plant it into one of those beds there at the front of my plot but I'm not going to do that today because I actually really enjoy doing that job and I'm not going to enjoy it in this weather so I'm going to wait for a day where it's going to be sunny. Um, what I'm going to do instead is plant out some dahlia tubers and some lots of flowers. Um, we're going to do some flower planting today which I thought might cheer me up a little bit. You might be able to tell that I'm a bit of a fan of flowers. So we've got all the primrose in here, but this is sort of finishing now um, and dying. I've got the um, violas in this little pot here, which is so beautiful. And then all around my plot, you might be able to see I've got tulips coming up, tulips there, some daffodils over there. I have a sweet pea archway ready to be planted out there and lots and lots of these beds are kind of dedicated to flowers because I just love them. Um, so wildflowers and cornflowers are going out today and that is the jobs of the day. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're waiting for me. Oh, yes, yeah. There you go. And there you go. Welcome, Yesterday, and I'm going to put a video on the screen now of it, I popped here just to feed Einstein, just, I was just here for half an hour, and um, I saw him getting some of the millworms and then feeding the other robin, so I think the other robin is his girlfriend, and I think she might be having his little robin babies, chicks, whatever they are. Yeah, are you going to be a dad, Einstein? Where is she now? You lost her? You already lost her? Oh, Einstein, you're terrible. Einstein, oh, did you just poo? Sometimes I feel like every time I film him and I get a really good shot of him, he just poos. I think he does it on purpose. Yeah, I think he's pooing on purpose. Oh God, I'm losing my mind here a little bit. Right, okay, so I did, like I said, I popped down here for half an hour yesterday to drop some stuff off. And the stuff I dropped off was compost. Oh yes, more brought compost still at the stage where I'm having to buy a lot of my compost to fill up the beds and stuff because they're brand new. Oh, well that's not good is it? Who do we think's done that then? Do we even need to ask? We know it's the fox. We know it's Foxy. Why has he done that then? A little horror. How dare he? I've said it before, you give them an inch, you give them an inch, you give them some mealworms and they take everything from you. Don't they Einstein? You'd never do that to me would you? Oh yeah, he's taking him to his girlfriend now. Brilliant. Good. He hasn't lost her. Right. So that's that bag of compost all around my sweet pea archway. My sweet peas are going to go out 
next week at some point um, they can handle a little bit cold so I think they'll be okay I've just got shop brought ones um, I didn't sew any this year because I'm running out of space in my house and I've got all these different types of squashes that I want to grow that you can't buy as plug plants so anything you can't buy as a plug plant it's now my job to sow it from seed and anything I can buy as a plug plant I try to and um, just because I don't have the room I would love a greenhouse over there one day I will have a greenhouse and then I can sow everything from seed but it's just not practical right now um, right, sweet pea tea pea down. I've concentrated all the compost around the edge because that's where the planting will be. The middle is just going to be some cardboard and wood chip, so I'll sort of scoot all that over. So it's really thick. It's such a thick layer under the um, over the cardboard, but underneath the cardboard, obviously there's still more soil. It's not concrete or anything, so the roots will be able to get through and get down. Um, but that's that done. So I'm going to sow some cornflowers today. These are the cornflowers I'm going to sow. They are polka dot mixed. So I've got the classic ones. The classic purple ones that are just all purple-y are going to go in my new allotment plot at the back to create a border. But I picked these up yesterday. They're Sutton seeds and I picked them up from a garden centre and they're the polka dot mix, which I thought was just quite nice. Um, they're really great cut flowers and they do grow quite tall and that's what I want so they're sort of all different colours can you see that I thought that'd just be really pretty add more colour in they're going to go down the back here so this bed here oh it looks like a smiley face it looks like a frog there's his little eyes and there's his mouth anyway um, it's going to go in the frog bed then that's what we'll call it now this is my typical flower bed so I had corn flowers in here last year and they worked really beautifully had the dahlias at the back not going to put dahlias this year we're just going to do loads and loads of corn flowers because they took over the whole bed and they were just fantastic corn flowers are just one of those flowers that I've seen like so many people at my allotment plot grow these and they grow really tall and I just thought they were really hard to grow and I thought you had to grow them into seed trays and transplant them and plant them all out but you actually don't I just scattered mine last year and they grew just like beautifully honestly just some of the most beautiful flowers I've ever grown in my life and I absolutely love them the bees love them they flowered for months so such a good choice for an allotment plot I think what's going on <gasps> they're lost he's got lost he's in charge right and he's, he's trying to take them all somewhere and he's lost and they're going oh we knew we shouldn't have followed you Bob and he's like, no, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. You don't know where he's going. Look, they're all following him. He needs a sat nav. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why am I falling over? I'm stumbling. I'm just stumbling all over the place and all I'm doing is weeding. What is that all about? Um, just to let you know, I have put some horse manure down here over the autumn time. So the horse manure has been on the top of the bed for about six months because um, flowers are very hungry plants. So the horse manure has really rotted down over six months. So I'll put um, a bag of compost over the top and then sow the cornflowers into that. I don't know if it's totally necessary to put compost over the top but I'm going to do that and sew into it. I like to top my beds up. Whenever I have compost available I like to top my beds up. I think it's good. I think you just keep adding goodness to the soil um, and I get panicky that it won't grow otherwise. So I'm just going to whack it on and then I won't get worried about it and I think it will just grow. I hope it will grow. It did last year. The soil I'm sort of roughing them in I've never actually done this before this is a new technique uh, but because it's brand new compost and a massive big thick layer of it I think if I just do like that and it gets covered 
I'll be able to know what's coming up because I don't think there'll be many weeds yet. That's the theory anyway. Right, that is officially the cornflowers in. I feel like they won't grow. I feel like Einstein's gonna eat all the seeds. I did try and hide them as best I could, but that's exciting. So last year they came up really well and did fantastic. Don't know why I feel like this year they're all just gonna not grow. He's flying around. Why are you flying around like that? He's gonna eat them. I don't know why I feel any different this year. I mean, I did exactly the same thing at the exact same time. Um, and they came up to like here. They were absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully they'll come up nice and tall and just be really happy there. And then I have sweet peas over this bit here, which I think will look nice as well. Right, okay, so we've done this. Let's get the dahlias in. Brought some absolutely gorgeous dahlias the other day from the garden centre. I couldn't resist them. I've been sent some for free um, by a company and I've got to make a little reel about that. But these ones, I brought myself and I picked them up because I just thought the colours were just gorgeous and I was like I just want them in my plot right so I'll show you the ones I got so and they were expensive you know I swear when I first started my allotment plot seeds and stuff were not as expensive as they are now I think they have gone up in price they were 5 99 each and you get two two tubers in each one and granted they are very big plants but I don't know, I just I thought they'd be like 2 99 3 99 I don't know why £6 just seems quite excessive, but anyway, I won't complain about the economy. <laughs> so, okay, daily is one of my favourite allotment flowers. Oh, it's Flower Friday today, isn't it? Flower Friday. I got this one. This is the Avignon. Avignon. There it is. <laughs> can't pronounce it um, but I just love it I love it I think I actually had one of these before but it didn't grow very well it's speckled one so you can see the petals are just really really gorgeous and then to complement it I went with this one I think this is a bit of a classic actually a lot of people had these it's the cafe cafe de lait cafe de lait I don't know if I'm saying it right because I'm not French but there we go I'm um, absolutely gorgeous beautiful and these are really big as well these should be nice big flowers, lots of flowers, lots of petals on them, I mean. And yeah, just gorgeous colour bits together. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice and dainty? I don't really do dainty here, do I? A lot of my flowers are quite fiery and um, bright. You know, I've got like bright orange and yellow um, tulips coming up and stuff. But with these, I thought, let's go a bit different. Let's go a bit dainty. So yeah, I, I like them. Let's, um, let's stuff them in. Let's whack them in. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Right, so I put the gladioli in the front of this bed, all along there in a zigzag. So at the back, from there, we'll have the dahlias. One, two, three, four. Let's lay them out first and see if they, where they fall. I don't know where else I was planning on putting them. They were always just going to be there like that. Aren't they weird? Aren't they weird? I have to say, they're like little octopus squids aren't they weird tubers so strange um this little pointed bit here that's the top that's the top of it and then this is all the tubers that come off it that go under the ground i leave a little bit of him sticking out just so i know where he is um and it's always worked for me i don't know if it's the correct way to do it but i've always done it they've always grown um yeah how amazing that something so ugly can turn into something so beautiful right i think we've got the cafe delight I'm just going to call it that now because we're British. Cafe de Late and um, the Aga, Aga, Aga non, Aga, Aragon, Aragon, the Harry Potter spider one. There we are. Okay. Oh God, they look so strange. Now, obviously, I've lost my shovel. <laughs> Not my shovel, my, um, my spade, my digging device, whatever it is. So I'm just going to use a hand. I've mulched this bed and stuff, so it should be, be fairly easy, to be honest. Oh, it's very boggy in here, though. I'm concerned about that bogginess. Concerned. Right, what we'll do, we'll dig it out a bit. Right, a bit deeper. And then we'll get some new compost. Stick that in. You can sit in that. All right. Yep. And we'll just fill you up. Maybe it'll die. Maybe it'll live. I've no idea. I just have no idea. But I just think the point is let's just get them in. I'm feeling rebellious this year. I'm going to whack it all in and get on with it. 
This one is particularly octopus-like. In you go, mate. Oh, come on, a bit deeper. In you go. Cover you over. It's not the cold I'm worried about so much as the bogginess. I don't want it to be boggy. But it has been really heavily mulched, just in fresh compost, so I'm really hoping it just sort of survives magically. Right, they're in. Yes, it's a little bit early, but I take full responsibility for the death of four perfectly good daily achievers if they do die. If they don't die, they'll grow nicely and I'll have early dahlias, which would be amazing. Let's just have faith, guys, and just think, you know what, if they want to grow, they'll grow. They can just warm themselves up or something, I don't know. Anyway, the other thing that I brought with me is wildflower seeds, and I was thinking of putting them here for the birds to eat. <laughs> I think... It would look nice if we had some wild flowers around here. I don't know if they'll take or not. I do have one bag of compost left, so I'm gonna whack that on, scatter some of the seeds and just, just see, I, I don't know. They're not expensive to buy wildflower seeds. You can get them everywhere. Um, and I just think, let's just whack them in and just see how they do, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Worst that can happen, they die. Best thing that can happen is they all grow, fantastic. Um, it's just these seeds. Uh, wild whales seeds, wild flower seeds. So if they come from whales, maybe they'll sort of be all right. Oh, we've got cornflowers in there. Actually, what is in here? It doesn't say on the back what specific seeds are in here, but it looks like poppies, cornflowers, the little daisy things. Um, yeah, I think it should be okay. It might be some calendula in there as well. Yeah, okay, call cool. it scatter them on then. Oh look, Einstein's come to see what I'm up to. Right, I just remembered that we had all that good compost, didn't we, from that compost bin here. So I've just dug a little bit in to freshen it up a little bit, and then we'll just scatter the seeds right on top. Where'd you go? Where'd that bird go? Oh, there he is, up there. He's watching me. Right, let's take my gloves off to scatter. Oh no, I've just dropped them all on the floor. Oh, Einstein, don't look. <laughs> it's like, oh good, extra grub. No, Einstein, no. Right, it's just a mix of all different sort of seeds in here. It's just a big mix of different seeds. So we'll just... <laughs> we'll just feed the birds. <laughs> He's just going to have all of these, isn't he? Look at this. The look of someone that's like, in two seconds I'm going to eat all of those. Please don't, Einstein, please. Do it, Einstein, I beg you, don't do it. Okay, right, we'll try and mix those in. I've got some left, actually. That's... He's just sitting there watching me, guys. Just sitting there watching me. We'll try and sort of squish them in so that he doesn't get all of them. Robin is going to have the whole lot of those wild seeds, but hopefully not, hopefully not, hopefully I scattered so many that some of them grow, oh, I just dropped the watering can, the oh, water's come out, okay, fantastic. Hopefully some of them will grow, so I remembered that I got all that lovely new compost in that compost bin there, so the compost is pretty good around there, I just put a little bit on top to cover the seeds up. So that's probably just like a quarter of a bag of compost um, and I've just scattered all the, uh, you, well just where the compost is, that's where the wild seeds are, the wild flower seeds. So hopefully that will all grow up really nicely, it'll be a lovely little wildlife area, got the log pile, got the pond, yeah fantastic, that would be so beautiful. The rest of that bag of compost I've dumped where the pumpkin archway is. Um, it needs another couple of bags either side. Pumpkins are really hungry and I really want to make sure I get this right. I'm actually going to grow quite a few different varieties of uh, squash this year over the arch and I'll be sharing more about that later on but 
it needs a lot more compost. The most important thing is to get the soil right, you know? But you can see it probably needs another couple of bags on this side and then um, at least another bag on this side as well. We did do the sweet pea TP which is really good but I need another bag for the sweet corn, the sweet corn bed and another bag down there too. Honestly the amount of compost that you need to start a brand new plot is like insane and I know people say oh you can just grow straight into the soil, you can but I, I just know the importance of the soil and the soil is so rubbish here and so boggy it's so important to add good, goodness to it and I really just want to do a really good job on it so I'm just going to have to suck it up and get more compost I think and I think then next year I won't need so many bags I won't need to top it all up um, that's the idea anyway I hope you enjoyed my vlog today it was flower flower Friday I think maybe we should make every Friday flower Friday and just sort out flowers um, got loads going in this year which is quite exciting I do feel a bit better now so thank you for all your lovely comments and um in you know positivity that's what I need I was just feeling a little bit flat I don't always feel totally energized and motivated to come here you know it's just the way it is um but i will see you again next week have a lovely gardening weekend thank you so much for watching see you next time bye oh and of course just found my uh, spade it's there <laughs>